Welcome to our Friday night question and answer program. Please go ahead with your call. Could you go to Job chapter 42, 2? Job 42, verse 2, it says, I know that thou canst do everything and that no thought can be withholden from thee. And that's Job speaking to Jehovah. Now, if he knows all thoughts and all things, I'm asking a question. Do you think that all things that we do and think from beginning to end of our life here on earth are predestined by God? I mean, we're so much, even our thoughts are, like he says in the Psalms, every word that's on my tongue, you know it all together, Lord. So is he totally in control of everything that from the beginning to the end in everybody's life that ever lived on this earth and even the saints in heaven? What do you think? Well, we know that God does know everything and he's always known everything. And that, by the way, is why it's incorrect incredibly incorrect for people to say Jesus doesn't know the day or hour. Well, of course he knows, because he's eternal God, and God, as it says here, thou canst do everything, no thought can be withholden from thee. And it says earlier in Job 24, verse 1, why seeing times are not hidden from the Almighty, do they that know him not see his days? So times are not hidden from the Almighty, and Jesus is Almighty. And so it's just a ridiculous idea to think that the Lord Jesus Christ does not know when the last day would be intellectually or when Judgment Day would be. Because it's said of him, that leads us to look at the word know in a different way. But yes, God has always known all things, and he has controlled all things in certain ways. Now, there are things that maybe God just sets in motion, but we know that the Bible says all things work together for good to those that love God. And that implies more than just allowing things to be set in motion or allowing things to happen as they happen. That really reveals that God is actively orchestrating and controlling circumstances in order to bring about a certain objective, which is a good result for his people and something that will ultimately be a blessing to them and will be beneficial to them. I mean, it's incredible. It's incredible just to think that there is a being, and there is. There's a being who exists and has always existed. He's always been, and he possesses just the knowledge of everything about everyone. Let's say one person, one person who lives 70, 80 years. How many thoughts, how many words, how many actions has that one individual been engaged in? And God has known all about it, everything about everyone. And now multiply that by billions of people. And not only the things they think and the things that they remember or have intellectual understanding of, but God knows the deep down thoughts of the hearts of all these billions and billions of people. Now, if you don't think that by itself is absolutely incredible, just think of your own life and how many things can you remember that you yourself have thought and said. I know, you know, as we age, we lose memory. And I'm finding it harder and harder to remember things that happened just a few weeks ago. And to look back over years and years and years, we cannot hold on to just all kinds of information. And God is able to hold on to everything that every person has ever consciously or unconsciously thought, said, or done. And that reveals an infinite, eternal God who possesses a mind that is just, there's no comparison. You could get a billion computers and you're not going to even begin to compare with the data storage that God possesses the ability to store all of this information and then to arrange things as we see on the pages of the Bible, you know, to work through details. As Joseph said, you meant it for evil, but God turned it to good. Or the things that happen in our lives, 
you know, with car accidents and physical illness and the troubles that people get in, whether they go to prison or they're killed, they're injured, all these things. And God turns them for the welfare of his people. That is incredibly amazing. And these kinds of verses just give us a glimpse. We could just stand in awe of God's ability to comprehend all things and just realize that he is a great, awesome God. And we can say the words, and yet we don't realize just the deep meaning behind those words when applied to the God of the Bible.